realize that if you understand how your balance sheet and your profit and loss account works, you can substantially increase the financial performance of your business. Well, I'm Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services. I'm here again with another video to show you how you can proactively use your financial figures to boost the profitability and performance of your business. In today's video, I want to share with you a calculation that bank managers, when reviewing a loan request, are particularly keen on. And it's called the creditor payment ratio. Now, this ratio shows, on average, how many days it takes you to settle your suppliers. That's a really important one for the banks because if they see a deterioration in the number of days it's taking you to pay up, it could mean a warning sign that you're under cash pressure. So how do we calculate the creditor payment ratio? Well, there are two figures that we need. First of all, the creditor's figure from your balance sheet and the purchase's figure from your profit and loss account. And the ratio is calculated by taking creditors divided by purchasers times 365. So let's look at an example here, and you may want to get out your balance sheet and plug your numbers in. But let's take this example. Let's assume you've got creditors of £31,000. You've got purchases of £210,000. So the calculation is 31,000 divided by 210 times 365 equals 54 days. So that's 54 days on average it took in that year to pay off your creditors. But that figure on its own means nothing. Um, we need to trend this out to see how it moves within the business. So let's do another calculation. Let's assume now we're one year ahead and we do the calculation again. So let's take this as an example here. Let's assume we've got creditors now of 25,000. Your purchases were 230,000. So the calculation is 25,000 divided by 230,000 times 365 equals 40 days. So, in that year, it took you 40 days in order to pay your creditors. So when we put these two figures together, 54 days in year one and 40 days in year two, you can see it has been an improvement. You paid your creditors 14 days earlier, and that's a good sign. How could that happen? Well, it may be that one of your suppliers is a really tough negotiator and screwed you down on credit terms, so your overall average was down because you're one large creditor, you paid quicker. It could be that you had a lot more cash within the business in that particular year, and so you were able to pay people off quicker. But what if it's the reverse? Say it was 40 days in year one and 54 days in year two. Well, there's a warning sign because it shows that on average, you know, it took you 14 days longer to pay. Could be that you're under cash pressure. But yeah, there are obviously things behind there that may have skewed that. There may be one large creditor which skewed the average. Or it could be that you were a very good negotiator and you managed to get longer terms from one of your big suppliers and therefore that affected it. But you were still within terms and not under cash pressure. So there are a really useful ratio that you can calculate to help improve the performance of your business. If you want to know more about the different ratios that you can calculate, you'll see uh, some links to other videos here and in the description box below that will show you on what you can do to better understand the financial performance of your business.